subscribe so today we'll uh, see how to create ec2 instance in aws so we have uh, logged in and first you have signed up then logged in then you will see this uh, account right the sign up process is same it will have all these uh, questionnaires and your required details it is similar sign up for other accounts any account okay once you do the sign up and then log log in using your email id and all those things you will see this okay so let's go to the aws management console here okay so as i have visited it is showing ec2 for you it would not be there you can directly search for here ec2 okay then you will see this you can click on this one and then it will open the ec2 management console okay so here we would be creating one ec2 management console here you can see instance running is zero after we'll create one instance it will be one so basically ec2 is nothing but a virtual machine where you will host your um, application okay so it can be any uh, any of your like spring boot application java application whatever application you want to host it you can utilize the vm and host it so you need the required application software to be uh, there inside that and you can host it now let's uh, launch the instance okay click on this launch instance so you will see launch an instance here uh, name of your instance is uh, you give your name name and tags like let's say your this instance is a uh, is for your uh, java application or spring boot application you can give according to so i am just installing att uh, I have given a application service for services. I am creating for services. Let's say so I am giving ATT services. Okay. Uh, next, which OS you want? Okay. So here, if you will see, you need to check this one free tier eligible. Okay. This is first thing. And next thing is, you will see if that includes your requirements. Okay. So let's say free tier eligible will take always okay for our uh, your practice purpose. So uh, Amazon Linux is there, Mac OS is there, Ubuntu is there, Windows is there, Red Hat, all these supporting systems are there. So let's choose one of them. So what is uh, here you can see 64 bit okay 64 bit ARM. So this is free tier eligible. Uh, so let's select this one. Okay. Next is instance type. Okay. What type of instance it is? It is having one. So what are all different types? Let's see. 0 0.6 GB, 0 0.5, 1 GB, 2 GB, 4 GB. Okay. But these are all paid. These are free tier. You need to take the free tier for your practice purpose right so let's see it okay this is fine next is key pair login this is a process which will be helping you while you upload your application so here you would be creating a certificate file okay dot pm file and this certificate file will be helping you uh, upload your build files and so let's create a new pair uh pm will be downloading this one pm so enter key pair name let's say we are putting att services okay now create it okay so this att services is created and it will be downloaded immediately so once it is downloaded you need to store it somewhere okay so let so i uh, so you need to once it is downloaded you need to save it somewhere so i've saved uh, saved it in a folder uh, to to use further while uploading my applications okay so once that is done then you come down okay so here you need to change this put a new rule okay so this new rule would be having anywhere otherwise if you are 
only if we'll click uh, keep uh, click on this one my ip you will be only able to access it from this ip but i'll select anywhere okay so a uh, rules with this allow all ip address to access your uh, this okay okay so everything is fine okay so now here configure storage so one we are taking one instance free tier is one instance and you will take 8 gb right 8 gb it's for this one the root volume total volume is this one okay so now let's check for advanced details what is advanced details i don't need this let's okay so all these things are there okay so now as we have everything let's launch the in your first year include 750 hours of time right so what is 750 hours so let's say you're in there is there is one instance so in this instance you have to um uh, 20 you are running in 24 hours uh, 24 hours into uh, 30 days that makes around 720 hours right then you are left to it um, uh, 30 hours more okay so that is how it is okay so let's say everything we have it okay so let's launch the instance okay now successfully you got the instance you click on this uh, has value you will see your instance running so now this instance is pending you can see this pending right so that will take some one two minutes to be alive okay now you can see it is it is in the running mode okay so that means your instance is up and running then you can start deploying your things so now we are seeing as the uh, instance is running so let's see what we can do with it more like how you can connect to uh, this instance and all those things okay so before that we will see what our options are there so you have action here where you can have many different uh, options okay so how would you connect to an instance networking uh, so what is it it is saying uh, networking there are many options so troubleshoot and all those options are there in instance here you can start and stop so basically if you select this all these things will be enabled okay so if you'll see it, these things will be enabled if you if you want to stop instance you can stop it and you want to reboot it you can terminate whatever you want to you can do so if you are not using it or you are not you don't want to use it for some days you can do one thing you can stop it so that if it there would be i mean anyways it is if it's a free tier and you are under limit it would not be chargeable but still if you want to if you don't want to use it let's uh, don't keep it running you can stop the instance as your uh, credit card or debit card would be connected to this okay so next thing is here you can see different options are here details is here here how would you connect host name everything it is given all these things are given here what all your instant details security things it has given all these things okay similarly networking storage so everything whatever you want to connect to this instance if you utilization all these graphs and everything would be available here okay so as i'm not using this instance now i'm not going to use it for some days or if you want to stop it just click on this one so it will ask you then you can click on this one then it will be stopping right and then after some time it will be stopped okay you can see successfully stopped right let me just refresh it it is stopped right so if i want to run the start the instance again just select it then start instance successfully started it is in pending then it will be in started
okay it will take one some 10 20 seconds then it will start the instance it's now it is running so that's all guys for uh, this one so next we'll be connecting to the instance and we will be deploying one application thank you